The world of War Thunder, a magical kingdom just like the animal kingdom where certain species often possess characteristics that make us marvel in their uniqueness. The German manes of War Thunder are a particular breed. Some many myths regarding their behavior and acuity have risen over the years. Join me, Ronic Actual, as we head out into the War Thunder wild to observe and discover whether the myths around German manes are true or just fiction. Hey YouTube, what's up? Ronick here. Welcome back to the channel. Behind us here, you can see that we have our observational vehicle for today, call sign Pizza One. Don't worry, we'll get into the reason on why it's call sign Pizza One here in a second. But we are on Japan. I know it's pretty funny, we're in Japan, but uh, we're studying German mains. Anyways, War Thunder Logic. It's a 6.7 BR match. We've already got drones in the sky. We've already found a Tiger II herd. Let's go see if we can track them down, get this show on the road, and try to observe German mains in the wild. Folks, so as you can see here, we are inside of Pizza One right now, and yes, it looks very cheap. It was indeed built by the lowest bidder because your boy is a cheapskate, and uh, it's clearly not big enough for big dudes like me. But anyways, I do think we have it better off than those dudes who went down on the Titan submarine a few months ago. We run the whole thing with this game controller. Uh, is it okay to joke about that? Because at this point, I really don't care. Uh, but some of you, or probably all of you, are wondering why we call this thing Pizza One. And in order to explain that to you, I need to introduce the rest of the crew, so why don't we do that? So up there behind the wheel of this magical beast, we got Francesco Pepperoni, his assistant driver and also our mechanic for this mission, Lorenzo Parmigiani, our rear-facing cameraman, Alessandro Jalapini, and then our forward-facing cameraman, we got Marco Baconeri. And at that point, if you haven't guessed it, yes, indeed, all of their last names do sound like pizza toppings, so how could we not call sign our vehicle Pizza One? I thought it would be perfect. I don't really think the guys like it too much, but you know what they're getting paid for this so let's move on our first stop is a tiger two pair spotted heading from the a cap where one of the tiger twos has red eyes but it seems to be shepherding the other one like a mama bear helping its cub cross the road what's unusual is there seems to be an adopted american mane as well although tiger twos are very capable fighters small predators that use surprise to their advantage are always looking to initiate an attack. In order to prove its worth, the American main attempts to lead the defense of the pack, but due to its haste and desire to prove itself, suffers catastrophic destruction. The mother tiger, having seen its adopted soul perish in seconds, cuddles even closer to its cub, attempting to protect it from all harm. Man, I cannot believe what we're looking at right now. Dude, Marco, you better be getting all this right now, dude, because this is one of those moments where nature doesn't make you go, oh wow, so pretty. It makes you go, dude, what the f What's my destiny, Mom? Dying for us. All right, folks, now right behind us, you can see that parent-child King Tiger set. And ever since their little adoptee American main got killed, they've been playing a little bit more defensively, but they're currently in sort of engagement with an Italian car with a coilless rifle. And the tiger with the mean eyes, who I'm assuming is like the parent in the hierarchy structure, is trying to shield the other one from taking any damage. This is one heck of an engagement going on. Let's just sit back and see how it plays out. The cub took a direct hit. The mother doesn't know where to shoot now. You can visibly see the panic start to set in. Things are not looking good for these two. Francesco, dude, this is some weird uh, I just cannot look away. I just, I want to look away, but I can't. <gasps> oh my goodness, folks. That tiger with the mean eyes, 
that was protecting that other tiger and that American main just lost both of them. I don't see how they're going to financially recover from that. I've never seen anything more sad than that. Look at it. It's retreating away, presumably assuming all hope is lost. There's no reason to live anymore. I don't think I've ever seen anything sadder in my life. To our east, another herd of vehicles consisting of two German and two American mains appear to form some sort of symbiotic partnership. Does this look like a good spot? All right, folks, now just behind us, you can see this is the aftermath of one of those engagements that we caught on drone and trail camera between some German mains and these Russian mains here. Now, as you can see, these Russian mains really screwed up they tried to position themselves on this hill, but they were facing directly in front of those German mains. And given the powerful weapons on those tigers, they went through these guys like butter. So I guess the lesson here is, is don't be like these bros. In the skies, we see aircraft from China and Russia mobilize to attempt to neutralize the herd before they initiate spawn camping. All of the mains in the herd attempt to defend themselves using their coaxial and roof mounted machine guns. The herd we were tracking has heard the gunfire in the distance and responds to provide aid. The problem is that will bring them on a collision course with Pizza One and more importantly us and putting our lives at great danger. In the rear, we see a Yag Tiger, a bumbling beast known for its pure stopping power, but also its hulking frame that leaves it defenseless against aircraft. Many locals have shared myths of Yag Tigers, equating them to the T-Rex, where their vision is purely based on movement and sound. Other than that, they are totally blind. Hey! All right, gentlemen, they're coming up the road to our front about 300 meters away from our current position. We don't have anywhere to go. All we can do is just sit tight and be quiet. But let's put to the test the true awareness of these goofs. Hey, Francesco, what's up? Oh, bro, you have got to be kidding me. You're not bringing this up right now, are you? Dude, we're neck deep in the sh right now. Bro, yeah, I don't want to die. Dude, those dudes are getting really close to us. Well, it's not my fault that you picked the lowest life insurance policy. I gave you three options. Well, what do you mean you didn't understand everything in English? Dude, didn't your mom tell you don't sign anything unless you fully understand? Bro, come on. All right, you know, we'll, we'll deal with this later if we don't die. While we were sitting inside of Pizza One, I don't think it was fear that was keeping us quiet. It was the absolute shock that no one had seen us yet sticking halfway out of this bush. So that Yag Tiger is right outside about 50 feet away. Let's see if we can hop out and get some closer shots while dismounted. All right, folks. So just behind us here, we can see that Yag Tiger. He didn't see us. Oh, he's turning around. Something spooked him. Oh, poor guy. And I think what happened is he realized he didn't have a roof-mounted machine gun 
And once he saw the aircraft, he got scared and now he's trying to run away. All right, let's see if we can follow him. Looks like he's running away. He might not see us. Dude, how did this, how did he not see us twice? <laughs> bye bye. In the end, we got so close to that Yag Tiger that I could in fact tell what deodorant he was wearing. And the answer is none, because German mains sweat so dang hard all the time that no deodorant can keep up with them. I think it's safe to say we were all left utterly speechless and decided to head back to base. Wow, what a freaking day, man. What a freaking day. You know, folks, like when people start spreading rumors online about certain mains behaving a certain way, you know, my first instinct is to be like, okay, that's like recency bias, you know? It just happened to you. You thought it was weird. You're gonna post about it online. But having been out here now, and recorded and seen the things that we've seen today. Man, I don't know, German mains are something else and I'm starting to think a lot of the rumors are true. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had an experience with a German main before because I'd love to hear them. But I think that is gonna wrap up the expedition for today, everyone. We have to go find Lorenzo his anxiety pills because he forgot them earlier and after that Yag Tiger incident, I mean, I don't think the dude's doing so hot and I don't really wanna deal with a lawsuit. If you folks enjoyed the expedition today, please consider hitting that like, comment, and subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all of your guys' support. As always, stay tuned, and I'll see you on the battlefield.